energy through the fusion of hydrogen into helium. If we could recreate this process on Earth, it would solve our energy crisis. A new source of power without the greenhouse gases. If we get this right, just one gram of hydrogen could generate the same amount of energy as the petrol it would take to fill this swimming pool. That's 100,000 litres. Impressive stuff. So why aren't we getting our energy from nuclear fusion? The thing is, it's incredibly difficult. For fusion to happen, positively charged hydrogen nuclei have to get together. Now, the problem with that is positive things just don't like each other. If you've ever played with magnets, you'll know what I mean. The like poles repel each other, and no matter how hard I try, I can't do it. And that's why fusion's so hard. I want to find out how the hydrogen nuclei overcome this repulsion. So, in the name of science, I've got a date with a plasma physicist, Dr Melanie Windridge, at the circus. I'll be playing the part of a hydrogen nucleus dressed in some rather fetching lycra. Sorry. Hi, Melanie. Hello. Fancy <laughs> seeing you here. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I am a bit confused. Um, well, okay. I'm the center of a hydrogen atom. Yeah, a positively yeah. charged nucleus. Yeah, and so is he. Hello there! Hello! To be honest, mm. I actually find him a bit repulsive. Well, a little bit. And if that's how all the hydrogen in the sun feels, then how does fusion happen? Well, it's all about energy. If the hydrogen atoms don't have enough, then, well, you'll see what happens. Do you want to give it a try? Uh, do I have a choice? What I do, I do in the name of science. Fusion failure! That's because you didn't have enough energy. Oh, does that mean I have to come back up? Yeah, come back up, Fusion Boy. <sighs> now, to be attractive to my mate over there, I'd need to be really hot. About 153 million degrees centigrade, which in circus terms is frighteningly high. <laughs> Having an acrobat look tricky, you should try getting nuclear fusion to happen for real. It's not just the heat that's the problem, it's containing the reaction. On the sun, it's done by gravity. On Earth, they do it with magnets in places like this. JET is the biggest fusion experiment in the world. Inside here, incredible magnets constrain a donut shaped hydrogen plasma ten times hotter than the sun, giving it enough energy to fuse. That makes this the hottest place in Oxfordshire and the entire solar system. One of the people making fusion happen here is Dr. Maximus Salas. Wow. So, this is the uh, sort of mission control. Exactly. It's pretty impressive. So can I actually see what a fusion reaction looks like? Yes, of course. You can watch it in this screen. What we're seeing is impurities glowing. The actual hydrogen plasma has a similar wavelength to X-rays, so it's invisible to our eyes. It's amazing. And how much hydrogen is actually in there? Oh, there's very little. If you actually could weigh the quantity in there, it would weigh less than a postage stamp. It might be hotter than the sun in there, but I can't resist getting a closer look. Sadly, Maximus was worried we might vaporise, so the closest I got was inside this mock-up. Plasma is exactly here. What I really yes. want to know is why, if they've made fusion happen, we aren't all powering our homes on the stuff. About here, I would guess, would be the centre of the plasma. How much power have you generated? Well, the maximum power we have generated is 16 megawatts, and this is a world record. 16 megawatts, so that's 16 million watts. Yes. In terms of sort of, you know, kettles boiling, 
Well, or, or something. How, how, you know, I would say it's, yeah. it's enough to boil around 5,000 kettles. That's pretty good. That's not pretty bad. good. No, it's quite good. Uh, but and how much energy did you have to sort of put in to get that energy? Well, out? that's the problem. You see, in order to get these 16 megawatts of power, we had to actually put in more energy than we took out. But and presumably the goal, obviously, is to put in less energy than you get exactly. out. Exactly. This is the aim of fusion, really, to be able to take out much more energy than we are actually putting in. Right. Do you think fusion is going to solve our energy problems? Can we do away with fossil fuels, for example? Well, I think if we are successful in what we are trying to do here, then yes, fusion will solve all our energy problems. Scientists predict it'll be at least 30 to 40 years before nuclear fusion is powering our homes. But if it means we have a cleaner source of endless energy, it's a day worth waiting for. <laughs>